Richard Mille, one of the most prestigious and enigmatic watch brands in the world. But what makes these watches so unbelievably expensive? Love them or hate them? Let's unravel their mystery. To understand the allure of Richard Mille watches, we need to go way back to where it all began. Founded in 2001 by Richard Mille, a French businessman, the brand set out to disrupt the traditional watchmaking industry with its set of avant-garde designs, cutting-edge technology, and astronomical prices. The first watch to make waves was the iconic RM001 Tourbillon, a watch that shook the industry with its immense price tag of over $100,000. This groundbreaking timepiece set the stage for Richard Mille's ascent to the summit of Horta Horlogerie. So, what is it about these watches that make them so unbelievably expensive? Well, first and foremost, their design and innovation. Richard Mille watches are like the Formula One of the watch world. Each of their timepieces is meticulously engineered to push the boundaries of horological design and performance. By using materials never before seen in watchmaking, such as carbon nanotubes, sapphire crystal cases, and graphene, these timepieces are not just watches, they've cemented themselves as wearable works of art, and with each new model, RM continues to raise the bar, challenging the standard conventions of watchmaking. It's important to consider the luxury market and the brand positioning of Richard Mille. As a brand, they've set themselves at the pinnacle of the luxury watch market, catering to an elite clientele who seek the ultimate in exclusivity. The positioning allows Richard Mille to command such high prices as they do, whilst also maintaining an aura of opulence, appealing to those who desire a technically superior watch that acts as a powerful status symbol of accomplishment. Another factor that we can't overlook is the investment value of RM watches. Due to their rarity, craftsmanship and innovation, they often appreciate in value over time. Collectors and investors alike recognise the long-term value of owning a Richard Mill, further driving up demand and thus their price. It's not uncommon to see the limited edition and more sought-after models fetching staggering prices at auction or surpassing their original retail prices by immense margins. Another factor contributing to the stratospheric pricing of Richard Mille pieces is their extremely limited production. With an annual output of around only 5,000 pieces, these watches are as exclusive as they come. Each of the watches is hand-assembled by master watchmakers in Switzerland, taking months or years at a time to accomplish and complete. This limited production ensures that each timepiece is made with the utmost precision and care, making them highly sought after by collectors and enthusiasts alike, adding on to their immense value. Evaluation. And let's not forget about the brand's strong association with celebrities, athletes and other high-profile personnel. Richard Mille's partnerships with icons like Raphael Nadal, Bubba Watson and Pharrell Williams have generated immense hype and interest in their brand. These smart collaborations have often resulted in ultra-exclusive, limited-edition models that fetch even greater market prices, adding to the overall mystique and desirability of RMs. So it would seem that Richard Mille's are unbelievably expensive due to their unparalleled designs, relentless innovation, limited production and high profile partnerships. These factors combine to create a unique and rare timepiece that's truly in a league of its own. But of course, one question remains, are they really worth the price? Well, that's up to you to decide, but one thing's for sure, owning and wearing one is a statement like no other, and people will definitely treat you differently. Let me tell you one thing, when I put a Richard Mille on my wrist, I talk differently. It's like I'm putting a Superman suit on. Magic. I don't know how to do it. You put it on your wrist and it's just bizarre. All of a sudden I walk different. I talk different. Do people treat you different? Yes. Yeah. Consider watching one of these two videos next if you want to see more like this. And remember to like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed it.